Well, we're in the month of October. Um, this is going to be a short video. Tell you more about it in a second, but I hope you enjoy my Halloween edition of my Happy Trails intro. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yo, what's up, everybody? So I got um, a really cool video to show you guys. It's a short one. It's like three minutes long. But uh, so my buddy Jimmy uh, from 365 Camper has uh, come across a new kind of a thing. I mean, it's it's existent, but now he just like is. So anyway, I'm just going to show you the video. So these things are like a composite camper and uh, they're primarily made for like, um, I guess the company originally started it in order to build, I guess you would call them like ambulance campers. So like a slide in truck camper that meets all the criteria for um, like what an ambulance does for crash chest, rollover, occupant safety, all that stuff. Uh, the length on the ones for the ambulance um, are for a long bed pickup. And you can set, um, they're long enough to have a spine board on each side. And uh, we actually have a gurney in this one and it's just sitting in there being stored, but it, the gurney fits. So it's pretty sweet. Um, my favorite thing about it though, is that it has the ambulance door and a regular ambulance door compared to a regular camper door. Well, here's my camper door right there, right? That's my ambo door. Look how wide and tall that is. So that's what they have so, on these things. I really like that. And this one's on the back and it's freaking awesome. And I was looking at it and I'm telling Jimmy, I'm like, dude, this thing is freaking rad. Like, I love it. Like what's up with like, can we get it? So on this one, the cab over part is really short, right? And I was like, is it possible to get it longer so that we can use it as a bed platform or something? He said, absolutely. He has, um, what is that called? Mocked up for either a full size or, size or queen size bed. And I'm just like, I don't know why I fell in love with it. Maybe that the ambulance door sold me on it. And this one has some windows. It's beautiful. I love the windows. One is an escape hatch, an emergency hatch, and the other one's a regular window. And then it has a sliding window uh, down there. So when it's up against a cab, if you need to talk to the driver or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I really dig it. The fact that you can order them as a camper, maybe put more, bigger, or leave it the way it is with the windows. I want to talk to him about maybe making it so that I can mount it on a flatbed. But you can order them with a short bed and like a queen size bed if you wanted to. A, a short bed truck with a queen size sleeping thing. So it's pretty sweet. Check out the video. Let me know what you think. Contact me if you have any questions. Pricing, all that kind of stuff. I have the basics on it. So it's just the shell the way it comes. But um, you can also have Jimmy build it out for you at it at an additional cost and do it the way you want but that back door i'm kind of sold on it so yeah here's the video check it out let me know what you think oh wait a minute thank you for following happy trails <laughs> all right guys here's the camper i was telling you about and it's getting geared towards ems personnel as a slide on ambulance off-road response response vehicle type thing and what were you saying jimmy that they're built how so these are built out of a aluminum core composite and the manufacturer has actually tested these for rollover. So these are certified, at least in Canada, there's no certifying body in the US for these because they don't exist. So similar to a certification for an ambulance getting tested for Correct. collisions and rollovers and the occupants being safe when seat belted, et cetera. Right. Sweet. So this allows you to basically take any four wheel drive pickup truck and turn it into a fast attack rural rural county ambulance response ambulance. Yeah. yeah somebody's out hiking somewhere and you can't get there as quick in a two-wheel drive ambulance blaze out there in this and you don't even have to stop and transfer them you can just continue taking them on to the to the hospital correct so so this is outside big windows so the one window is an emergency exit window and the other one is for ventilation 
Then you got the pass through so you can communicate to the driver. Not the pass through, but the slide in window. And this one actually has a gurney sitting in it. But here's an ambo door, which is what I freaking absolutely love about it. Gives you a big opening, good insulation. So the way this is laid out is technically you could have two, which isn't installed, you would have two backboards and you could transport two patients on the, uh, the Each wings. side. And then you would have a paramedic seat facing outwards to be able to maintain, manage both patients. And it's got about a six foot three, six foot four. Uh, that's probably like six, six. Six, six stand out. And then you got um, light holes for the LED lights. And then you got some storage up here. Keep the monitor and all your other equipment and stuff like that that you want in there. That way you have the freed up space on the sides here for the spine boards if you needed to. But look how big that door is. Just like an ambo door. Hey, what's the weight of these? Like 700 pounds. Nice. So pretty much it fit on any vehicle with that. Any, any long bed truck. Um, you can have... you can get them made for short beds too, but they're probably not going to be able to lay down in them. And that's the point of doing the long bed truck. So you have enough room for the spine boards well, to lay down, right? Well, this specific one, now it could be... Yes, so the answer is yes. However, this is the only design that has been certified for rollover. Okay. In theory, you would just shorten it and things should be all the same, but... Cool. 